Welcome to Variant Edition, your source for comic book news and culture. I'm Mike. And I'm Nick. Every week, Variant Edition brings you the best that comics have to offer. On Tuesdays, it's the latest headlines in the world of comics, and a sneak peek at what you shouldn't miss on Wednesday. Then, later in the week, it's a half hour of comic book culture. News, reviews, and interviews. And we do it without all having to resort to uh, cheap tricks and corny skits. Yeah, that's right. So, here's your five minutes of comic knowledge that will prepare you to step into your shop this week. Here's your headlines for Tuesday, April 24th, 2007. As usual, we start off with some comic book movie news. It's only a few weeks from release, and the Spider-Man hype is starting up. Director Sam Raimi has repeatedly stated that while the third movie wraps up the stories begun in the first two films, there are hundreds of Spidey stories left to tell. The question is whether he will be directing them. His stock response seems to be that if there is a compelling story to tell, he will be on board, but after a slight break. There is also talk that Spider-Man 3 may be among the most expensive movies ever made, with speculation pegging the production budget at upwards of $300 million. In a few weeks, all of us will get to see if that was money well spent. In further movie news, there was a bit of a hubbub surrounding a phantom screening of Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Tipsters reported online that they had been to a screening in Seattle and that the movie was so bad that they felt dirty. Studio reps responded that there has not yet been a screening, and perhaps to divert attention a bit, stated that Lawrence Fishburne has been cast as the voice of the Silver Surfer. DC has announced that they will be previewing the first two issues of the upcoming Countdown on MySpace's new comic book community, MySpace Comic Books. It will be the only place to see the first two issues of Countdown online and in their entirety. The online content will roll out over a series of three weeks beginning May 4th. Apparently, comics must be on a comeback. That or stores just don't know how to order anymore. But quite a few comics have announced sellouts in the last week or so. Loners number one from Marvel, Madman Atomic Comics number one, and Marvel Zombies vs. Army of Darkness number two. Oh, and there may be a new way for you to keep track of all those sold out comics you're picking up. Comic Base, a Windows database program for tracking your collection, has announced a free trial version of their software. But like most things, you get what you pay for. While the paid version of the software features different cross-referencing tools, the free version lacks that. Oh, and in the free version, you can only enter 500 comics. So don't be cheap. Pony up for one of the paid versions. So, all of us here at Variant Edition are pretty big Ben Templesmith fans, so we're really excited about the announcement of his return to 30 Days of Night. Templesmith will be writing and drawing the three-issue 30 Days of Night Red Snow. World War II, Russians, Nazis, and Vampires were there. This week's new releases are sponsored by Classic Comics in Raleigh, New Jersey. Yes, the same Classic Comics where we shoot the show every week. Now, May 5th is Free Comic Book Day, and Classic Comics is celebrating with free comics, a half-off back issue sale, a huge graphic novel and statue sale, and its annual box sale. Now, what's the box sale? Well, you buy a small box like this for $35, and you fill it up with as many comics as it'll fit. And yes, it's as cool as it sounds. Also, Mr. Convention Confessional himself, Rob Riley, will be appearing here and signing from 12 to 2 p.m., so make sure you check out ClassicComics.com for more information. Okay, so now onto the new releases. Last week we saw his war in the DC Universe. This week it's Amazon's Attack. And back on schedule, it's Wonder Woman issue number 8, leading directly to the first issue of Amazon's Attack. Again, in keeping up with the whole war theme, we see the second Fallen Sun Death of Captain America issue, only this time it's the Avengers. And for those of you that may have missed it, you can pick up the second printings of Amazing Spider-Man and Dark Tower number 1. Powers number 24 finally hits the stands this week with probably the coolest cover of the month. And for something different, check out the Sasquatch Anthology graphic novel that Josh Howard is putting out with Viper Comics. It looks really cool. Okay, so I'm running out of time here. We've got Debbie number 10, JSA number 5, Justice number 11, Exterminators number 16, Sadhu number 7, Warm with the Gentleman Corpse number 7, and The Walking Dead number 37. But me, I'm looking forward to the Outsiders Annual. All around the world, Saturday, May 5th, is Free Comic Book Day. Millions of comic books for readers of all ages and interests, and they're free. This is your golden chance to discover all the great stories found in today's best comic books at a comic book store near you. Be there Saturday, May 5th, for Free Comic Book Day. All right, that's it for Variant Edition Tuesday. Check back later this week as we finally get back on schedule with our regular half-hour episodes. We're proud to say that we've been doing Variant Edition since February 2006. We've learned a lot along the way, and we are very excited for what we have coming up this summer. And speaking of upcoming plans, don't forget to check out our forums and let us know what you think of our proposed new website. 
We're looking forward to your input, and let us know what you think. And don't forget, there are quite a few ways to watch us. iTunes, VO, YouTube, Google Video, Blip TV, and on TV through Kimbo On Demand. But if you want the best quality video and quickest downloads, head over to Variandition.com. That's it for Variandition Tuesday. See you next time.